Okay, good morning everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com and I'm doing a market review here, pre-market of the QQQs with the room here today. I thought I would do it. I did not have a chance over the weekend to do a market video because I taught the class and I did want to do one. <clears throat> and I figured, you know what, I'm just going to wait and see what the market does in the gap today. So initially I looked at this this morning and the first thing I thought of is that we're going to hold. And so far we are holding, we're actually gapping up. This is not a big gap up. This is not a gap up I'd necessarily buy, but it is definitively a gap up in the market. It's not that you buy every gap up, but it's just giving me confirmation that the fall drop that we had on Friday was one drop of the day, and that's pretty much the end of that. And I did look at this. Actually, maybe I did look at this. I think I did look at this in class uh, over the weekend when I was talking, even though I didn't do a video, about where we rallied up to here, which was around an area of 109.42. And it really wasn't anything specific. So we will get over it. We're absolutely going to get over it. And there was a small gap down on Friday, but it did follow through into support. And here's where we're at today. And now, right now here this morning, it's 9 o'clock. We're gapping up slightly. Again, I said this earlier, I don't think we come anywhere down here again. And we're still higher. So that being said, we're right on the area here for us to hold. And we're gapping up today. And it's a Monday. And I don't see anything significant with the sell-off on Friday. I actually had someone text me and say we got clobbered or something on Friday. It's amazing to me how much traders exaggerate moves to the upside or downside, but traders typically really do exaggerate downside moves because people tend to gravitate to going long, and so when people see any red, they tend to exaggerate. That's what was going on all in here. All the exaggeration of the month of January and December, where everyone said we were falling off a cliff, or, and then people started shorting this. And there was a lot of red in there as far as the days go, but I didn't see that as any sign of weakness. So definitely not today, or Friday. We did fall. We had a red bar. Would I have shorted this? No. Did we gap down? Yes. I would never have done it. <clears throat> so I don't see any problems with this here. This didn't mean anything here negative for the market. On the day, it was red. Big whoop de doo You know, we ran up straight, almost green every day in February. you got to expect that there's going to be some wiggles and jiggles. Although, again, I just really don't think we come in anywhere significantly before we pull up again and go higher over the high. So we did not get clobbered on Friday. Again, it's perception. It's perception. And you got to read it right, what the institutions are doing. And there was no significant sell-off from Friday. So that's just the way that the cookie crumbles. Today, the market looks like it's going to hold. My call for today in the gap in the market is neutral. Neutral slash bullish. Meaning I don't think we go anywhere crazy higher. I definitely don't think we drop. If we drop, it's a fake out, does a taily bouncy thing and holds green into the close. Either way, the body of the bar today should have some kind of green in it, small or medium. I would be shocked if the bar today in the market is a big green. But you know what? I wouldn't put anything past it. I wouldn't be surprised if at the end of 4 o'clock today, the market had a massive green bar that 100% retraced the bar from yesterday. I wouldn't be surprised at all. I wouldn't be surprised at all if this week we get over the high immediately again despite the red bar from Friday, because it wasn't a big deal, and it just wasn't, and it just wasn't, so. This is the StockSwish.com. This is my market review here. It is pre-market morning, 9.07, Monday, March, what is it, March 9th. And even though everyone in the world but me thinks the market's lower, it's not. Even though we had to red day Friday, it has no significance. This doesn't have any meaning at all. And it was a bearish gap, but it isn't significant. And again, you have to understand how to read a gap right. You can't buy every up gap. And you can't short every down gap. Okay. Any questions, email me at melissa at the Have a good day, everyone.